Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use KTour, a key and mouse mapping tool to play mobile games like PUBG Mobile. We'll dive into its recoil control feature. So, without further ado, let's jump into the game. I've set up some key mappings. The middle mouse button to aim, V for free look, left click to shoot, right click to scope in, and a few macro keys. I've also got a 4X scope M416 and a 6 scope AUG ready in my inventory. Let's check out the recoil on these guns. Switching guns. Wow, the recoil is intense. But don't worry, we're going to tackle this. Open the K2er floating window. Find the recoil control settings and set caps lock as the toggle key. Adjust the strength to three and save. Place it somewhere it won't get in the way. Back in the game, press caps lock to toggle the recoil control. Let's test it out. Switching to the 4X scope M416, fire, and you can see the recoil is much better controlled. The strength setting works pretty well. Turn off the recoil control and fire again. The recoil is back. Turn it on, and it's controlled again. Now let's try the 6X scope AUG. Even with recoil control on, it's not quite enough. So, let's go back to the settings and add a new strength level. Setting it to 7. Let's test it again. This time, I'm using the mouse wheel to switch between recoil strength levels. Select strength 7. Now the recoil is controlled. So for the 4X scope M4 on 16, I'll use strength three. And for the 6X scope AUG, I'll use strength seven. By quickly switching recoil strength with the mouse wheel, you can adapt to more gun and scope combinations. That's it for K2er's recoil control tutorial. K2er has a lot more features to explore, so make sure to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth guides. Thanks for watching.